look up in the in the left hand corner and see. Hang if on, red hang button. on. <laughs> I'll do an official start. Can hang you on. believe that? Can hang you on. Believe- Stop it. Stop it. What's up, Candy Lickers? Pleased to meet you. Nice to know me. What you doing? You're listening to another edition of Casio's Cut, and I am joined by my two buddies, a bunch of goodens. Today, we got Mr. Ryan Greenwood and Greg Burgess, both from the Rick and Bubba Show. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. What's happening? Glad to be here, buddy. Uh, First of all, um, you guys, Ryan, you no longer work there. You were unceremoniously fired. Uh, (laughs) I mean, just I moved on. You want to go into that? Yeah, no. yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna cover a lot of stuff today. <laughs> you just went into the vapor, son. Uh, and then they just got some tech guy out of college that they fill <laughs> your shoes. Yeah, pretty much. They, they found somebody that could cut the, the computer on and then cut it back off, and that's all they did. <laughs> yeah, so and, and that guy wasn't have, me, I couldn't do it. All right, and then we have Rick's brother, Greg. Uh, the real Greg Burgess. Still still employed there, I think. I don't know. After these couple podcasts, maybe not. But I think I'm still employed. I, I went this morning, and they let me in. So, Well, that, that's why I wanted – that's why we're having you on um, is that today, 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 November 10th, 2020, you guys are officially my podcast competition because you guys have a podcast out, and it's dropping today. No, no, we're not competition. Look, look, a podcast is like going to the grocery store. You can go put it in your cart, and then you can eat it when you want to. You can listen when you want to. So I don't look at us as competition, okay? We, we complement each other, okay? okay. So that's a good thing that. about a podcast. You can listen to all of them. You don't have yeah. to pick one and, and miss the other, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Just stick it in the microwave when you want it. Heat it up. We there really you know. want them first-day downloads. You'll, you'll be wanting them first-day downloads fast. Say, I don't even but- know what that means. I don't even know. Well, it means downloads on the first day. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Look, I just want I just want to figure out how to upload it. So, uh, it's, <laughs> hey, hey, hey buddy, there, buddy, I'm good to go. No, no, no. You need to learn how to record it. I knew it. I knew it wouldn't take long. I knew it wouldn't take long. <laughs> there it is, right there. Greg, right what there. happened? Because I heard a hint of it beforehand before we started hit recording. Oh gosh, don't listen. Now, what you know, uh, we did our first one with you, and we we were getting so we we had another one the other day with uh, another former employee. Uh, Chris Molesky. Well, we were we hour and a half at oh, least. Yeah. Oh yeah. At least an hour oh, and a yeah. half. And all of a sudden Ryan, Ryan had just looked like somebody slapped him across <laughs> the face with a turd. And he was like, y'all ain't going to believe this. He said, I have not recorded any of this. Well, first and I, I said, was like, what? I asked Greg, I said, do you see, do you see like a, like a red flashing button up top? And Greg said, no, no. So you don't see, I'll be button. looking from now. He on. goes, he goes, no. And so I'm looking at that gray record button. I went, Oh no. I click it and Greg goes, there it is right there. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you, I just hey, cut it on. Yeah. Do y'all see it on mine right now? I do. Yes. I, okay. I checked I it see out. it. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm going to tell oh, you. I'll be looking. Here's the deal. Y'all just started a podcast. I've been doing it for just over a year now. I got some awesome podcasts that did not ever make it to air. <laughs> okay. 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 It. So good. So it has happened to you too. <laughs> it has, okay. I don't feel it's going like to happen a lot. No, probably. it can't. Greg will quit. Especially Greg, depending Greg on Greg will quit. Baby. Greg will be out. <laughs> Greg There's, will be out. I'm, uh, I, look, I would get it if it was 10 minutes into it and you go, Oh man, I ain't record. We were done. We were, were like, man, yeah. we got through it. We got another one. You know, that's yeah. just sharp. Hey, two. Hey, I, I've got two in the can. Well, and, look, I'll just be honest. Sometimes the beverage will tell you you're recording and you ain't really recording. You know what I mean? The beverage is The beverage recording. will tell you a lot of things. Sometimes you hit record early to make sure you don't forget. And then you've had a, you had a, and then you hit record again and it really stops it. But look, it's going to happen, especially between y'all. T- oh, Greg ain't recording any of them. It's all you, Ryan. Yeah, it's me. It's yeah. me. Yeah, it's on me. And it was totally right. on me. So let's set the table for uh, the, the few people that, are listening to this show, just Casio's Cut fan. They're just Rocket fans. They're just maybe stand-up comedy fans. I've had on the show before a couple other Rick and Bubba people. But you guys, so to set the table, I used to be on a nationally syndicated radio morning show called the Rick and Bubba Show, still kicking, still rocking and rolling, still bigger and better than ever. And that's how I got my start in radio. Now, when I started, um, Ryan, you were on the show. Uh, you were were you officially webmaster when I started, or were you just I was, buddy? I was I was 
I think 90, it, 97. 97. It was right around 97 when I got the web. Well, actually, it just meant I got the webmaster email I was responding to. And so I got deemed webmaster. Uh, and I started helping the show on the side. I had a nine to five job. And then I was also helping the show on the side for all the different events they were doing. Uh, and then it was, it was, it wasn't up until 94 that I went full time. So there was, there was about a seven year window in there, seven, eight year window where I was just kind of helping on the side and Oh, four, and it, you mean? Oh, four. Yeah. And oh, wow. um, you went back in time. He did. Yeah. I was like, well, my we, bad. My we bad. Got some timelines. My bad. My bad. <laughs> that ain't I mean, right. 98, I got the webmaster. 94, I was on the payroll, but you know how it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know how it is. Back in, you know, back to the future. So, uh, and then, so then the next thing you know, man, I'm, uh, I, I just asked the guys one day, I, I just, the internet was new. We were, you, everybody was coming off of Prodigy and all the bulletin boards and things like that and AOL dial up. And I was giving the guys a hard time because we were doing, Rick and I was doing the Mr. Lucky thing. I was like, hey, why don't y'all put your, your events out there? When you have events, why don't you put pictures out there? And Bubba had actually created the first web page. And he's like, well, we got a web page. I said, yeah, but you need to put your events. You need to, you know, you need to list where you're going to be. You need to post some photos, you know, from, from when, when the event happens. And so they basically looked at me and said, you know how to do it? And I didn't know anything about the web per se. I knew about how to connect and email and things of that nature. And I had an IT background uh, of software engineering and things like that. And I was like, I'll figure it out. And they said, okay, you do it. And that's, that's how I got the gig. Hey, I, you just know how to just do it. Well, you started cause you were all friends. Oh and yeah. And you, you and Greg at the time, you said, Mr. Lucky. So the, those that are listening that don't know the Rick and Bubba folklore, Mr. Lucky was a <laughs> rock band that you had on the side. The world's greatest garage band. World's greatest garage band, yeah. which is available on Spotify and other places, right? It yeah. is. It actually is. Yeah, our fat chat, our fat chance CD that we record. It actually is. It actually is. And that, that start. Mr. Lucky started out as a um, way back as a house band, and um, so then it just kind of moved forward from there. And then Rick was smart enough to realize, hey, if if I got a house band and I got a radio show, and this was yeah. even b before Bubba came in the picture, hey, what a great way to promote it. So I would call in, and we would do call ins with promoting the upcoming uh, shows that we had. And then we started playing around town and kind of playing regionally. And so it was just Greg a great was way to slapping the bass. At that time, I joined late on that one. I was actually still building power lines when Ryan, when you started and then um, when the Mr. Lucky thing, and then they kind of, then they put the CD out and, and Ryan, they said, Hey man, I want you to come back. Cause see, when I was in a band years ago, you were bars and, yeah, you know, we it, wasn't, started, I, it yeah. wasn't a good place when you're married and you have children to be doing. But he said, no, nah, we're playing theaters and stuff like that. So I was like, why not? So then I jumped back in and then the Fat Fest and all that started. I was there for all that. Look, we begged him from the get go. When, when we started the house band thing and was doing that, we tried to get him to do it then. And, and who he was, was the bass player? Uh, Sam McDonald. He was where's he player. at right now? Sam, has he still got the tire shop, Greg? I don't know. I, I haven't seen the tire shop years. in a while. He used to have a tire shop. Uh, and then John Chevalier was on the drums. Yeah. And uh, John Chevalier, the, the guy that owns the audio place? Yes. Yeah. Yes. John Chevalier. Yes. That John Chevalier. Oh, he, that, by the way, that's a very successful sound company. Audio. Oh, company. he does a great job. He does. Yeah. A great he's job. amazing. He, oh, he, he does a great job. He did he a good job. He was on drums? Yes. He I never knew drummer. that. Oh, he, he, he carries a top pocket. Uh, but Wait, he, who he, plays, who played drums at Fast Fest? Uh, well, Curtis Kurt Bird did originally. Oh, Curtis right. Bird, yeah. Curtis Bird. Then, I'm about to uh, say it wasn't Chevalier because I would remember that. No, it was Curtis. Curtis and then Steve Sample. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. And and but we tried to get Greg from the get go, and Greg was newly married, and and was you know it wasn't conducive to what he was doing with the power company, and he's just like, and he he knew that me and Rick and I was knuckleheads at the time, so. He was like, no, 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 it's no, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. And then we yeah. went on and did the fat chance. <laughs> yeah, Greg. He was like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, and I didn't then need to get in there then. Yeah. And then, then we did the CD and we recorded the originals and we, and even then we were like, Hey, come on, come on. He's like, ah, I don't know. And then eventually big brother talked him into it. It's like, look, we're not doing bars anymore. You know, we're doing uh, some of the, we did, we did a little fat fan, uh, fat chance tour. We did some gym, gymnasiums and some civic. And we had a road this? crew. We, we had, had a road, road crew. We didn't set our own gear crew. up. Yeah. Yeah. Show up, plug <laughs> in, Greg, play. I ain't got to plug anything in. That's a pretty good selling Listen, point. 
in the old band days, you, you had to haul all the equipment in, you had to set everything up, yeah. light, sound, fog machine. This Mr. Lucky, you just showed up, plugged in, played, and unplugged and left. And there was somebody else to do it. So that was that was all right. Worked so out. So we, we finally talked him into it. And and Rick played a big role too. He was like, Look, it's good. We're good to go. And so we 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 got up to speed on the set list and we were off and running then. Then we Wait. then we were just we were we were tickled to have Greg in the band. Was your oh, first gig, Greg, Fat Fest? No, my first gig was Saks High School. You yep. remember that, Ryan? Yep, I sure do. <laughs> I do. I remember that whole night, if you remember. Yeah. And then we've yeah. And Wait, play- uh, let's go. What's what's the whole night if you remember? <laughs> you <got it>. yeah. <laughs> well, you is that the night somebody stole the house money? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, what was that? You, you were around that time. What, what years did you intern? 98? Uh end of 97. And then I, you know, I was there from 97 to 03. How did you miss the fat chance tour? Because there was a lot of interns that, that were on that tour. Somebody uh, at one point, somebody stole your emission money and bought a Dodge Neon. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> who was it? <laughs> I mean, I know who it was. I'm not going to say him, but was that what gig was that? Do you know? Uh, I forget which gig that happened that when Greg, something went missing. That's Greg part knows. of it. You know, stuff happens like that all the time when you're doing rock and roll. <laughs> stuff band. happens. You get you, people steal from you. That's just the that cash is. box with the admission money was gone. The, yeah, uh, well, so they say. Allegedly, so, allegedly. Yeah, allegedly, reportedly. What do you mean, allegedly? No, it was gone. I can tell you it was gone. Now, Sounds allegedly, like you know, reportedly, you... is whoever bought a Dodge Neon. Yeah. <laughs> Track that down. <laughs> The fact was it was gone. That's a fact. Yeah, it was gone. Yeah, yeah. All right. But Do you, do you remember what gig that was? Uh, hey, I've had so many. Not the sax. It wasn't. It All was right, a... so you started at sax. Yeah. And then we, how many gigs you have on your belt for Fat Fest? Oh, uh, we played how many on the Fat Chance tour? We played about ten. Yeah, something like oh, that. That was a good tour. Yeah, and we had then we and then we went to before we went to the biggest one. After that, we played the concert hall at the BJCC. Yeah. And then Fat Fest. Whoa, came after that's that. big. No, that yeah. was a that was a big deal for us because the show was just getting into Birmingham. And the show had grown from Gadsden and was now it was was hitting the Birmingham yeah. market. And it was hard to get numbers on exactly how's the show doing. You know, all the radio people were saying it was doing good. And so on, on the Fat Fat Chance Tour, we had had, you know, we'd seen some decent crowds and people coming out and they had listened to the show. Uh, and then we we're, were set up to do the gig there to BJCC at the, the concert hall, the smaller concert hall. And so we just expected a normal show. You know, I don't know. How many does it hold? I don't know. 3,000, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Something like it's that. It's a pretty big venue. Yeah, it, it's a, it's a, it's a good room and we oh, peak yeah. up. And so we're getting up closer to showtime, probably about, I don't know what, 30 minutes out. And somebody peeks out and is like, have you looked out? We're like, no, we're like, what's going on? Like, is there a problem? They're like, it's full. We're like, what? And are like, it's full. And so we knew then the impact the show was having on the Birmingham market from a radio standpoint. And it was some, obviously some carryover. That, that we benefited from too so absolutely so it was, I, I doubt it, was it was it may have been for them rocking hits we had i don't know it could have been <laughs> it could have been rick was dropping on the uh on the all request show i think no it was fun man we had i remember remember taylor came out my son at the time was like what was he about five or six years old yeah and yeah. he came out and, and sang a song he because he was one of them kids that wasn't shy about nothing and uh, now he's a grown man. He's he's 29 years old. No, uh, he's not. Yeah, got it. Got a little boy. No, yeah. I remember when he signed. He no, I know, I know. Yeah. No way, he's 29. Yeah, that's right. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. So that, so that was that was getting us into the Birmingham market in terms of the show growing, and then that opened up the door for for the Fat Fest. Yeah, which was a multi Don Juan had a lot of Cassio. bands and we would play last. Don Juan and Cassio. You played <laughs> that's, when I, that's when I rapped. Yes. Uh, if you want to hear Don about Juan. that story, by the way, listen to y'all's podcast. So that's what I want to hit next, and then we'll come back around to some stuff. You guys are on together because you've started a podcast. Uh, Ryan, this is kind of your brainchild, and then you – I still don't know how you roped Greg into this, but <sighs> – you have so a new podcast. Tell them the name of it and what's it about. It's off the air, the Untold Rick and Bub Experience. It was an idea I, I kind of got, me being uh, a big Dolphins fan. Yeah. Uh, there's a podcast out there called The Fish Tank. And it's basically OJ McDuffie who played with the Dolphins and then 
uh, a guy that worked in the marketing department. And they go back and they started interviewing players from back in the – they started in the late late 80s and, and 90s players that OJ had connections with. And then it kind of it kind of moved forward to current day players and then some of the older players, Zonka and some of those. And they would go back and kind of relive, you know, what it was like in the office when when um, – when, when they were there or when they played with OJ and things that happened in practice. And so I'm sitting there listening to that, and it's, and it's right in my timeline of me being a big Dolphins fan when I was growing up. I was like, man, somebody needs to do this for Rick and Bubba. I'm like, you know, back, back uh, you know, from the, the, the fat flight and the million, million pound march and all the different things early on, helium boy. I'm like, somebody needs to, somebody needs to do this. And I, I kind of tossed it out to a couple of people and nothing really bit. And I just kept, I just kept moving on it. And I said, Hey, I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm like, I was, I worked with the guys from the Mr. Lucky days uh, to the early website uh, to play on the softball team together. Uh, I was like, Hey, I've, I've got some insight. And so Greg and I was talking and uh, I was like, why don't, why don't you, why don't you help me? I did not think, I did not think he would, he would bite for it. And uh, I, I, I kind of roped him into it. I, I think those pictures I got of him helped though. <laughs> but eventually he agreed to it. So why did you agree to it, Greg? Well, at first I was I like, I really didn't get it. And, uh, but then I got to thinking about it and I thought, you know what, this is not me and Ryan are buds. You know, like I said, we got a unique perspective because we were listeners before we ever worked there. And then we worked there together and some of the stuff that went on behind the scenes was always funny. And, and I thought, well, you know, a lot of people don't know about that. We're going to bring people in, you know, like you had you on talk about some of the stuff that went on when you were there. And we've had other, you know, former staff members, maybe even interns and talk about some of the things that happened behind the scenes that maybe people didn't get to see. And, you know, going to break down like Vicky quest, which is when they went and get the lady who was going blind, but she wanted to see them before she went blind. And that was quite an adventure, you know, just telling the behind <laughs> the scenes stuff. Story. You, oh, didn't, you didn't hear Vicky quest. Oh no. man. Oh, that's when was that? It was Turner Cassio. South days. It was it was right at the end of Turner South days. Um, probably right after I left. You might everybody's have, I left in 03. Yeah, I probably was. Yeah, yeah. I, I was Turner still, South was still kicking. I just did the Fatchler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which kind of put them on the map. On the but look, I don't want to brag. But look, that put them on the map, and then I departed. Um, there, you left them. You you left them hanging. Went to California. You dropped the mic and went and, and <laughs> we'll went talk over about to what happened out there, but. <laughs> I mean, next thing I know, I, you're what, in the I don't know what happened in California. We don't have to talk about it, but <laughs> you got, I was worried about you, but, uh, I'm paying rent. I'll tell you that uh, you got to do what you got to do, bro. <laughs> but the Vicky, I quest, can't sit comfortable right now, but I paid rent. Hey, it, it'll work itself out. <laughs> Everybody talks about, they all know the Willie and Wanda story. It's famous. Yes. It's on a CD. Vicky quest. We had a recording of it, but somebody dubbed it and you can hear something in the background. So we really can't, it, it, the quality is terrible. Oh no. It's, to me, it's, it's, it's a better story than, or it's as good in, in my book as William. It, it, it started everything. on the, it started on the air with Vicky calling in and, and she was going blind and she wanted to, to see the show before she went blind. And we got this Where'd crazy. She, live? she lived in Tennessee, Georgia. Wasn't it? No, Georgia. It was in Georgia. Yeah. It was in Georgia. And Long we got way. this. Yeah, yeah, it was a little longer than we wanted it to be. And we got this crazy idea. We're going and I, I I think Rick or Bill, one of them said, Why don't y'all just go get Vicky? And next thing you know, we said, Okay, tomorrow we're going to get Vicky. And we were all I mean, Rick and Bubba saw to the earth are normal people. So did y'all go in their private jet or did y'all drive? <laughs> no, no, we, we had to go. We had to This may be before the jet days. And maybe it was turboprop. But... <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right. They could just charge us. Yeah, without going into it, I'm just going to say this. Go to pick her up. Picture this. She can't find her shoes or her bra. True. And there's a drum set in her house, and they True. say you're going to have to have a drum solo before we leave. So she's sitting there barefoot and <laughs> bra. It gives you a drum solo, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Why? Why? Are you holding it for y'all's podcast? Well, yeah. We got to break it down. Of course, I wasn't there, so I, we'll have to bring in it, Speedy. It was, it was, We're going to bring Speedy in because he, him and Chris and, and Ryan are who went and got her. All right, that was my next question. Is this authorized? Because you're on it, Greg. Does that mean number one and number two authorize it? How many listeners you got? Because Ryan, how many you got? Because this 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 may kick Greg off right here. Yeah, Ryan, yeah, you been. told me about the podcast, and I love the idea. And then all of a sudden, one day you call and you go, "Hey, man, Greg's gonna be on it." And I went, "Oh, that'll be a good episode." And you go, "No, no, no, he's gonna be on it." And I was like, "Well, now you've changed the game." Oh yeah, well, they're gonna be looking of... at Greg. 
I kind of asked permission and they said, yeah, but I really, I don't know exactly if they knew what I was talking about. You they know don't what know what it's really like. Yeah. And it's not going to be anything scandalous or anything, or at least not early. You know. <laughs> and look, we have Greg, a side. That's not we how you a... promote it. You're supposed to say it's super scandalous. Things you you never knew about the Rick and Bubba. Show. Yeah. Exclusive behind mean. the scenes. Behind that's the scenes. what I mean. A, which yeah, means so we I won't be signed, on We had, Greg hadn't signed anything. I hadn't signed anything. So we're good right now. Now we, I will say this. I do make a living working for them. So if they do yank me off, I will have to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the reason that originally my idea was off the air, the untold Rick and Bubba experience featuring the real Greg Burgess. And I figured he could get cut. So I would just leave it the way it was. And I'll just yeah. leave the feature and all. And I thought I might scare him off. I was afraid. Yeah. If, you know I mean, it, it's hard to, I mean, when he's in the green field, <clears throat> he's easy to spook. So I, I didn't want to scare him out of the green field. So, so far it hadn't been much of a hassle. Cause you know, I mean, if something's a hassle, I don't want to deal with it. Sure. Oh, I, I thought I scared him out of the green field last week when I didn't hit record, but he's, well, that, he's, that was kind of a blow to Is that on the edge. Yeah. That almost pushed me over. Oh, I saw if if, if he would have been a deer in the green field, he had a head look like what was that? I've been stomping my foot trying to make you move. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I got him at least I got him at least for another week. So we can get at least a, maybe a couple more yeah. recorded, maybe. All right. Maybe. So well, I wanted you on today because uh as of this recording, it is uh November the tenth, twenty twenty, which means Big the day. first episode has dropped and I'm on the first episode. Yes, yes, I yes. We, we, can't, we can't tell you thanks enough for being the first guest. That was huge for us. And he oh, actually recorded it, so that's yeah, even a yeah, bonus. That's, <laughs> that's how you're the first one. It's the only one I had. To you're supposed to have some more in the can, but you, you hadn't recorded it. Right, that was anything. the only one we had in the can, so that's why you ended the first one. And the, yeah. We were trying to redo the one he didn't record, but Chris had a vasectomy Friday, and he's still struggling. He's still got them frozen <laughs> peas on his balls, so he'll take a minute. <laughs> Maybe wait, have... wait, wait, wait. I thought like three days you were good. Ryan, have you been snipped? No, 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 Greg? no, no. I can't no, speak. Thank God, no. No, so I can't, <laughs> I, I can't speak from no. experience. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we all got bullets in the chamber. We don't know what yeah. we're talking about. Sure. Oh, sure. I mean, you remember they tell you March Madness, get it. You can sit around for about three days and then you're good to go. Good to go is what the claim. He now. can't even record a podcast after three days. If anybody's going to have bad side effects, it'll be Molesky. Yeah. I mean, it will. Yeah. <laughs> Why? He'll have something bizarre that never happened to anybody else. Right. Is he like Jeff Tyson? Is he a hypochondriac? Well, he's just got, it's just he's got a touch of, of it. Yeah. he Because uh, remember, it, 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 or he's Lamont got bad class. luck. You're saying he passed out in the Lamont's class. You know, when yeah. you go with your wife and they show that film of a baby being born <laughs> when your wife's pregnant, he yeah. fell out on the floor. Yeah, and <laughs> stuff like that. And then, and then Chris and I rode this ride in in uh, Orlando for Turner South, <laughs> uh, mission on Mars or mission to Mars or something. And I, I, I thought we, we both were sick. I was sick too, but I thought I was going to carry Chris on my Where back. Where was it? It was in Orlando, and the guys were coming down, and they they punted on the idea. And Turner South had to have something like, hey, we got to have some footage of somebody riding this new ride. It was new. It, it was new. It was new. Uh, and so they're like, we got to have somebody ride it, and. I said, I'm out because I get motion sickness. And Molesky said the same thing. They're like, no, 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 no. If Rick and Bubba's not doing it, somebody's got to do it. So it's y'all too. Y'all are at the bottom. By the way, yep, for Rick and Bubba fans, y'all keep saying Molesky. It was Christopher Columbus. Chris, so, yeah. yeah. No, You're right. I'm yeah. sorry. Listen, well, hey. But yeah, I, I, mean, gotta, all... I, gotta do, I gotta do something about this sign right here. Why? I, I step, I, I... <laughs> <laughs> what ain't affecting this podcast? Why he just left? He just Greg, we're recording, Greg. You can't just get out of it. When he comes back, we're talking about the gay bar just because of that. <laughs> just because of that. <sighs> Ryan, are you single if the ladies want to get at it? Are you single? <laughs> huh? See, that's better, y'all. That's the same. Right, Greg, yeah. get back in you here. can do that on these things, right? Yeah, you know, you're good. But just for that, we got two things. One, I asked Ryan if he was single. Is he? If they want if they want that green wood, can they attack can they <laughs> hit you up? <laughs> I'm trying to get Greg kicked off the show. <laughs> Ryan, you're well, you're good. doing a good job. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I am single. I am single. All right, now, I'll Greg, be... was Ryan here's this here's the off air story I've heard a million times that we gotta oh, no. tell. Oh no. Uh, I don't I, I, this that was a long time ago. <laughs> See? <laughs> you know you go. Look, you got him rubbing his head. He you wasn't there, though, were you rubbing Ryan? his head. Oh no, I was just actually I can't it. remember. I can't remember. 
Oh, it's just went in a place that you think's a regular bar, and then you look around and you go, "Wow, these are some weird looking couples." Why? And I just look because they were the, the same sex. They were dudes. <laughs> and I, and they I, were dudes kissing. And I look at, and I look over my brother. I say, "Hey, I, we leave maybe finish this beer, but we need to go. We got to round the boys up." You know what I mean? <laughs> And I, hey, I, I, Rick's told I me the story a hundred times, and I'm, here's what I'm how proud about: that he's telling the truth. You gave this signal. Time to wrap go. it up. Greenwood wrap it up. was there, and like I told you, I think Ryan? I managed this on on our podcast because remember, I went up to him and tapped him on the shoulder. And he looked at the guy he was dancing with. He was like, "I don't know what the big deal is." <laughs> I said, "We got to leave now." <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know what it was. Uh, he said it was like was, an ant bed. You didn't yeah. notice it first. <laughs> yeah, you look and you go, well, there's a weird looking couple. Oh, what? and then you look and go, oh, wow. Hey, if you ain't paying attention, you better look. What I, city I, were you in? Do you remember? I think Atlanta. I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, oh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Atlanta will have a sneaky one. Hot Atlanta. Hot uh, <laughs> I, let me just say this they don't put it on the sign outside the place. <laughs> Well, Greg, I don't think they do that anyway, but I think well, it might think not be a bad idea. Name. Might not be a bad idea. I mean, the name of the bar was the toolbox, but y'all should have known probably the <laughs> See, manhole. Hindsight you know? <laughs> 2020. Yeah. Hey, he thought well, this is Georgia Power Bar. It's called the manhole cover. You know what I mean? <laughs> Had free hot dogs. <laughs> oh, okay. Poles and sparks. He was like, this is Georgia Power on <laughs> Yeah, let's it's, it's the IBEW. It was one of their plays. <laughs> Local 391. Hey, let me tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> Just a side note. I did one comedy gig for the Georgia Power Company. <laughs> it's the worst gig I've ever done. Oh, a big corporate gig. Oh, oh no. yeah. Hey, but they're out on Lake Resort. They sent them there to the lake. Oh, must so have been They're the all in party mode. It was all the foreman. Yeah. And they said, now sit down and eat dinner and watch comedy after you. They would jet ski and all that pontoons. Oh, hey, no. sit down. And they're just, whoo. Now Not sit again. down and watch comedy. Buddy. How'd that go? <laughs> <laughs> hey, they so, weren't even looking. I remember getting off. I get there. I get through my. Did they even know I'm you like, were there? What's that? I said, did, did they even know you were there? Yeah, because they let me hear about it. They didn't want <laughs> oh, me to be okay. there. Oh, yeah, they didn't want me to be <laughs> there. They were ready. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, karaoke was coming up after us, and they really wanted to get to that. The so good they, thing is, though, those gigs. Mm. No, those good things are those gigs there, they usually pay pretty good. Oh no, they got a budget. They got to spend it. I'm yeah, I, I, I've I mean, done a couple. Of, I, took it. I did a couple for Alabama Power, and yeah, that's the <laughs> one thing. But I was okay because I knew a lot of them. That helped. They gave me charity, you know. Oh, uh, they did. So hey, you when, I, got, when I, I shook that. hands with the headliner, I told him, "I said, hey, but I'm gonna start the car. You just <laughs> let me know when you're ready." Because <laughs> you ain't. Because I cut my time short, and I knew he wasn't gonna do an hour. You know what I mean? Yeah. I said, no, "We'll no see you in a minute." Yeah, hey, and he's about. He's about. 10 minutes in and he literally from stage looked over and goes you still got it running because we're about to go <laughs> <laughs> i said yeah i've already closed out i'm, I'm done let's go out well, all right so greenwood you don't want to talk about it because you're gonna save it for your podcast right about you getting fired <laughs> yes yes that's exclusive Bad. that's exclusive to the off there the, now, greg the who did you get fired experience. when you got hired they had to make room for you don don juan yeah, he got him fired. But, but he did he get fired? Let's just no, he, he, no, he, he left, left on his own. And here's the deal: Next I want people to re, I want people to I realize mean, he still this. hates you, but you're all good, right? You well, he right. Like, he started it. Right. I tried <laughs> uh, <laughs> to upstage him at Fat Fest. Yeah, you know, done one in Casino. Uh, but no, he he <laughs> left. See, so most people think that I got fired from the power company, and my did big brother. You? But no, I didn't because most people really don't quit the power company. It doesn't happen a lot. You know, I heard it's because you're drinking on the job. <laughs> and look, he didn't get fired be, from, running that, from running that bucket up and down when he was towed yeah. up. He didn't I don't quit. I don't know why I quit and joined him. I, I mean, I've, I'm glad I did. It's worked out well, but that was pretty stupid now that I think about it. <laughs> why? Why? Well, I've been there 23 years. Been there since I was 19 years old. Kind of had a career, I guess. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Nothing like starting over. Sure. Yeah. It, 42 or whatever i was so yeah, yeah. no it, it was just one of them things i thought you know you only live once why not you know why not so it's been fun it I've did had work time. Out. yeah, yeah. I, I can't lie behind the scenes when i because i was when he when greg first got there i was still there so i was begging when when the when the 
the opportunity was presented and, and uh, Greg was was on the list. I was telling Greg, yes, yeah, do it, do it. You were lying. You, you were thinking, what did, what's Rick bring this dumbass brother in here for? <laughs> no, how about no this? I knew we'd get Ryan. to hang out. No, how about I knew this? we'd get to hang out. Cassio, do you realize all the former interns that wanted that were pissed when I got that job? Because they were probably in line for it, and then they wished for years that I would crash on I twenty on my way home every day. Let the job <laughs> open back up. That's fine, and I don't hold it against them. You know, you can't I blame it. them. Yeah, they just they think I had a shot till Rick's stupid brother came in. An old family, and that's true. It's all about nepotism. You know, <laughs> that's all. I mean, that's not a bad word. <laughs> You think oh, he, you think they had opening and they heard that well, I tell you where we normally get people to work in radio, that's your local utility company. See if they got anybody can handle it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look, and we get interns and they get they I talk about, man, how I get started in this business. And I go, You might want to talk to someone else. I said, because let me tell you how I got started in it. I had a brother who really <laughs> was in the radio and built this big show that was hugely successful. Then I went and worked for him. So <laughs> probably not gonna happen for y'all unless y'all have a sibling that's in the business. I said, So go talk to Speedy and he might can give you some advice because I'm the wrong one to ask for on that. The wrong one. Ryan, you knew everybody coming up, so you were good. Yeah, you I was probably I'm, not the best. No, no, uh, no, for sure, for sure. Well, well like look, here's the deal, though. The, the All three of us can agree. If you can bring something to the table and do your job, they'll bring you on and you'll be with them, period. That's that's true. That's true. You got It may get you in the door, but you do have to perform when you get there, I guess. So but we was, had a great time. I, and, and, look, I was good at getting get, throwing myself under the bus. I was good at that. I got under the bus a lot, a lot. So I got pretty good at it. So Originally, Ryan and I would stay in the back. Our offices were in the back. So we were back there more than they would call us when they want us on the air. And so we, we had a lot of fun back there just in the background. You know, that's kind of, that's kind of where we started the podcast was back there in the back. We kind of had our own show going back there. We had there. a fellow employee that I'd love to really go into. Cause I got some stories that are just absolutely amazing, but <laughs> I don't know about clearance on that. I don't, I don't know if we do yet. I don't know if we do yet. So. Let me just ask you this. Have you ever met anybody that fake Parkinson's disease? Oh that's all I'm going to leave there it there. There I didn't what? say a name. There I didn't say a name. Wait, there it what? Went. There it went. Wait, what? Post said it. Post said it. Post it. I didn't say a name. Post said it. But I've seen him lately, and he he does not have Parkinson. I'll just say that. <laughs> Go ahead. I've never seen anybody unless he went by idea. Benny. Unless Benny Hen did it. I don't know. <laughs> he didn't have his cane walking. Yeah, I, I, that's a story I'd love to tell. I'd love. Well, look, that. Don Juan's been on the show. You can talk about him like that. <laughs> no, it's not Dave. It's not Dave. <laughs> love Don Juan. I have no no problems. It was not. It's not Dave. Oh, uh, but I'm gonna tell you, mm-hmm. boy, it'd be oh, a good story Greg? to tell. What oh, is God. it? Why can't I think you? you said enough, Greg? I think you said enough. <laughs> look, Ryan wants you to say for y'all shows what he wants. <laughs> I told him that we need to bring that person in and, and let it all hang out. Oh, he's begging. Show. He's begging to get him in. Begging, begging. But we'll the see. guy won't come on or what? Y'all can't get in touch. Probably with. not. I don't I don't see him being very happy. <laughs> I, I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think see so. him being very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, Ryan's right. I've said too much. Yeah. I didn't say yeah. a name. I didn't say a name. No, that's a post edit right there. That's obvious. That'll get cut out. It's not a big deal. It will not. Start tweeting at Rick and Bubba <laughs> to, to ask who it was. No, no. What? No, 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 no. At what? Who we got to tweet somebody and just ask to you? No, we're going to hush about that. I'm going to already get fired off the podcast. <laughs> I said no name. You, you I just may said, get Greg fired off the podcast and the show at the same and time. And for all y'all know, I made that up. You know, I may have, yeah. I might have just exaggerated. You clearly did. This I may have exaggerated. Why you went for the pop there and you got it. Because yeah. nobody would do that. Simple embellishment. Not Simple one person would do that. That was clearly embellishment. Yeah, clearly. Do y'all remember, uh, we all at the remote when the lady uh, brought pictures, a photo album of her stillborn baby. Do y'all remember that? No, but I know who it is. You remember? Because she used to come to the softball game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but oh I got you. Gosh. She used to come to softball game. I know who you're game. talking about. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and and Greg, claim, hey, also made up, not that, that's tragic. I was gonna say that wasn't that made up. up. I saw. No, no, but yeah, that's but but she would make up that she was. Uh, you don't know. That, yeah, Greg. something to do. Well, I'm gonna leave it alone. But yeah, but I'm. Got I, some, but y'all got told some. me about that, and that's sad. That is really sad. Right. That was, Were that, you there that, for that? Yes. 
Yes. I mean, I feel I wasn't there for that. That's that that that's. I thought really, I'd forgot that'd it, but I'd, well, I'd have been tough. God. And look at this. This is them with the baby giraffe. Look at that. And yeah. then you start wow, going. Look. It, it oh, was, something's looking bad. Oh, the back end embarrassment. I don't, I don't even have secondhand embarrassment. I had it. I mean, good grief. Were you there for that, Ron? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's that's sad. Yes. I thought it was weird when Speedy autographed it. I, I didn't. Know, I thought that. Was <laughs> I thought weird. he was. I thought that he's going too far. Over greeter. Clearly an overgreeter right there. That's the overgreeter move right there. So he gets secondhand embarrassment. He just decided to sign it. Move yes. On. Yes. He, yeah. He just mm -hmm. loses it. He Greg, loses it. I'm staying out of this. <laughs> you. <laughs> I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Wait, you just said somebody fake Parkinson's, <laughs> but all of a sudden a real life event is too much for you. Well, that was sad. No, it was. It was awful was kind of sad. It was terrible. Say it was just uncomfortable. It was just the timing. Yes, was just way off. It was just the timing. No, no, we were coming in hot. We were happy go lucky. We're, yes, we, people were signing CDs, yes. getting pictures. Yeah, and then oh. we got a photo album. We were in a love fest mode, with, and yes, yes, wow. you were just wow. like, oh, and we didn't just, you know, Greg, just didn't know what to do next. Wow. Didn't know what to do. That's didn't know what to do. I wish Greg would have been there though. That's so, handle. Because there's no telling what he would have said. Well, Greg would have now Greg would have addressed it right then. Yes. No, no, no none of us yes, addressed he, it. Don't no, we didn't know what like, to do. I wouldn't have done anything. Greg. No, he would have said something. Clearly no. off the cuff. That's 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 off the table. <laughs> off the you cuff. Would, now, if yeah, you want to talk about somebody with us, you would have been, hey, that's a bad situation. That is, but if you want to talk about somebody faking a major disease, now I'm in on that. <laughs> There he goes again. There he goes again. Greg but see, here's the difference. That. He didn't have the disease. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know. I know. You're describing a tragic event. What I'm doing is like somebody who was faking one. Yes. Big difference. Yes. There There's is. uh. There is. But do you do y'all agree? This is kind of why you started this podcast, Ryan. Is people ask me all the time. I look. I've never had a bad word to say about Rick and Bill. And people ask me all the time. Hey, are those guys funny? you know, all fair, whatever. And I tell them they're funny or all fair. Cause look, you're on air, you're on terrestrial radio. You got to be a certain thing. I'm on it. Now you, you guys are on it. You've been on it. You know, you can be as close as you can to normal, but when that light switch on, you yeah. there's, there's an edge you can take it to. Right. Yeah. And not that they're awful and not who they are, but no, no, no. It's funny or all fair. You're just being normal. It's just it, relaxed. It's more relaxed. It's and relaxed. It's just, and it's, we got some people that, that see things and describe things in a funny manner. And it's, you know, and everybody got their quirks about them. And yes, like I say, when y'all do it I'm, on y'all show, I'm sure when you go to break, you know, a lot of times nothing, I'm not talking about anything like hypocritical or nothing like no, that. I'm just I'm saying, saying you're more relaxed and you're making fun of each other. I mean, look, my mom got mad when they claimed I never wore deodorant. You know what I mean? I, I heard got, that. Look, made they got mad. mad about it. Got but, eat up with it. So she was mad. Yeah. They're making fun of her baby. Yeah, you I got that mean. from my intern's mom. She got mad at me. See, you know? but in the end, she 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 came back later and said, "Yeah, I, I get it." Because I told her, I said, "We treat him the way we treat each other," which is probably not really good. What y'all make fun of him for? He was just well, he 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 was a special kid. He he just went very experienced. He had never driven on the interstate and stuff like that. He was just for his age. He was kind of <laughs> sheltered. You know what I mean? All right. And we it was kind of a compliment. You were treating him like one of the guys, and we it took we took advantage compliment. of that. Yeah, I mean, it was a compliment of like, hey, we're going to treat you like one of the guys. I would love to get him on the podcast. I don't know where he's at now. Say his name. Uh, Jay Spradley, bruiser. 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 Man, bruiser. He was one of my favorite interns. I mean, he, he's give incredible. You this. He was not experienced much. I'll give you He was that. incredible. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, and he could tell Great a story. Too. And he could tell a story, too. And it was just good. Yeah, God. but he, that's the funny part about interns. They're young, and – Usually the interns that come in, we're all young when we get there, and we're in that weird time zone of age of yeah. Mama still see you as a baby, and yeah, you're going out in the real world. You're still, you're still mom. Well, let me let me ask you this: Did you did you have bo or not? I mean, when they when they were making fun of you. I mean, there might have been a day. You know what I mean? <laughs> there might have. We've all had a day. Didn't, we didn't forgot you, it. Didn't you and Don Juan one time get almost get into it over that? And y'all, y'all did see. I knew it. I know. I don't remember that. I don't. I'm not disagreeing with it. I don't okay. remember it. Okay. Uh, speaking I, I of Don, the closest Juan. we got, the closest we got to fighting was uh, he called when he would call because he drove back and forth. You know, again, uh, commuting and stuff. 
and I moved to Birmingham before he did. And he was still commuting out. Then he had to commute without me to Gadsden. And, uh, he called and he would, he would jokingly say, Hey, when I make my, I make my white guy mixtape, there's some songs that are going to be on there. That ain't going to be right. He had a white guy music that he would say. Gotcha. And, uh, one day he called on my voicemail and he would call my voicemail to at work to try to stay awake driving, you know, an hour yeah, and 10 yeah, minutes, yeah, yeah. three o'clock in the afternoon where you're dozing off. He would get on the phone and try to stay awake. So he said, Hey man, this song is on my white guy mixtape, and he sang Edwin McCain. <laughs> oh, that's on every white. Yes. So white. Yeah. And everybody tries to do it in karaoke. Everybody sure. tries. It. Yes. Yes. And the next day, it got played on the air, and he got he got Him singing. Yeah, oh yeah, he got hot. <laughs> so did, I, I, one, I, I exposed the white guy mixtape. And two, exposed that he was singing Edwin McCain, which is oh, not but, a good look. Oh, and it probably didn't sound yeah. very great. No, you know? yeah, I mean, he's trying to stay awake. But he was like, hey, I left it on your voicemail. I thought that was something not on the air. And no, he, like, can't, well, he can't expect no. you not well, to. See, that's that. something. I, look, you learn I'm from I'm sorry. He just, had to, he just had to lose your friendship because you got to play that <laughs> on that. You got I, to. I, Castell, and you probably learned that from Rick and Bubba. And, and as you go into the show, whether you're an intern or a staff or anything, you realize there's really not much that's off limits. I mean, voicemail. No, you learn things. real fast. Right. And so to you, you were just following just normal procedure of, hey, it's game, man. Game all is fun. We all got to get lurch. We've talked about I've had Don Juan and uh, Joe Coon or Coon Dog on my show. And uh, one of my favorite mornings where I realized everything happens on air is that we had a cookout in the parking lot uh, uh, right before we left the queue, 1037. We had a cookout in the parking lot and – uh, old Lurch was in charge of uh, was hot dog buns. That Whoa. was his. Hey, buddy, you show up in the morning at five thirty with hot dog buns, tons of them. Okay, it's on Rick and Bubba's account. You know what I'm saying? There's there's no yeah. excuse. You got the card. Go ahead and buy them. Me and D, we had uh, hot dogs and we had the weenies and the plates and all the stuff. Lurch was in charge of buns, and here comes five thirty. Here comes six. Uh oh, no bun. Here comes six thirty. Uh oh, we got no lurch, and we got. Now they had fun with it on air. Hey, y'all can come get you a weenie, and we're just gonna put it in your hand. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It was great, and Aaron, that led to a lot of good jokes. Right, it was great oh, for yeah. on air. But I'll yeah. just say this: uh, they told him not to come on in. You know what I mean? That was oh, it. Oh yeah, that yeah, that was that, his that, last day on the show. So that was right. it. Done. He was retired at that point. <laughs> right. right. If you can't get. Well, he called later, way later. Oh, hey, man. overslept. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm on in. It was like, nah, you can go ahead and stay at home. Matter of fact, you can stay home forever. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Stay I'm home not. as long as you want to. You're good now. You know, when I first got there, this is typical Rick and Bubba. I'm the least experienced person. They put me in charge of interns, people that are <laughs> learning. <laughs> and I had this one. You were and, supposed and to teach remember, him, Ryan, do you remember this girl? And uh, she the just disappeared that- for a while. Uh, and, uh, what what's it called? I've been thinking that was her nickname. I've been thinking, and she was a little airheaded. And uh, anyway, she disappeared for like a week or two, and didn't even call or nothing. And all of a sudden, I looked. She's at work. I said, "Look, I said, uh, if you go on and, and get jobs, I said you can't just not show up. You need to at least reach out and tell somebody. Well, I've been real busy, but I'm I'm back today and all this. And I said, well, I said so you're real busy. I said, and I thought I was helping her out. I said, let's just make today your last day then. Well, I didn't think nothing about it. I walk off. Next thing I know, she's back there squalling. She's balling. <laughs> yeah, she was balling. And I was like, I thought I was helping you out. You busy? You know, I, this right. Might be today. You're well, releasing of her duties. Yeah, and but she's she clearly got another, a lot of things going on. I had to apologize to her. She's yeah. back there what? Blub, she's back there blubbering. Well, Greg went in his power line mode. He just shut her down. So that's well, it. I mean, you can't just not show. But I didn't say it hateful. I just said, we'll just make the day well, your well, last I remember day. leading up to it, we kept asking, where is she at? And Greg, I don't know. I, I ain't heard from her. I don't know. And the next yeah. thing you know, you're like, oh, my gosh, there she is. Is that the only intern you've had to apologize to? Yeah, I think so. I think. Uh, Greg, you've got to I No, be I, I've been fortunate. We've had some really good ones. And um, a very few I can think of that weren't good. Seriously. Of course, we hadn't had some in so long since the pandemic. You know, we, we don't let them come. You know how the college kids are spreading it like wildfire. But so we haven't had uh, <laughs> oh, they one say. thing. I miss them being there because you get to meet different people and they bring stuff. You know, they're funny. 
two, I've been having to screen calls and I can't. Oh, stand you that. love that. You love that. Yeah, I love that. It's called. I screen. had Speedy the other day. He was screening them. He was mad about it too. Y'all well, mad about it. Yeah, we all mad about it. Why can't you get Adler on it? Well, what, well, he's running all the TV stuff. He's what we need to do switching. is get us some of these college kids that's already had the COVID, and they ought to have the antibodies. Get them in there. There you go. <laughs> get one of Speedy's kids. The antibodies. Speedy's kids got the antibodies. Yeah. Yeah, so. get one of them in there. Have it's either of you had it? No. No. You got no. tested? Mm. No. But never I, I, I haven't never sent nothing. And I hadn't been around anybody that's got it this positive. So. I got a I got a test and I got the antibodies test at the same time. I was for I got the test just because they had it. I, I didn't think oh, it you hurt. didn't have any symptoms. No, uh, no, I was discomfort. My eyes water like kind of like water goes up your nose. You know, yeah, your yeah. eyes water for no reason. Yeah. Uh, I was for sure I had the antibodies. I was like, there ain't no way I ain't got it. By the oh, way. so you were that guy. Everybody that came, I think I had it back in February. <laughs> no, I didn't get sick. But I, I went to Florida. It. I went to Florida like right when we got out of lockdown. Yeah. And I well, went to probably... Florida and hey, and they were like, we ain't got it. I was like, yeah, matter of fact, you do. You eat up with it. I, I looked at yeah. the latest graph and Florida's yeah. really high up there. Still. And on, uh, yeah. they were like, nah, can't get it at the beach. Nah, seaweed. <laughs> it's like, it's all right, let's rock and roll. kills it. But, but I was but, for but, sure. I, I mean, I didn't ever have symptoms. I just was like, surely is along the way somewhere i got it oh absolutely because you weren't hiding from it. i've actually done pretty good and not i'm trying to stay out of huge crowds and i'll even wear my stupid mask when i go in places you know i'll stay i try to do better have you got have you got a fancy one now did you get a new one i got a bunch of them i got a camo i got all kinds of them. oh you sharp now here's my I goal did. we are in november i haven't paid for a mask yet that's my goal is to get out of this. Oh, you can make it now. Mask. Yeah, you can yeah. make it now. Yeah, you can make it now. Of course, I only claim. rely on free mask or somewhere. If they got some, I'll take a couple. We'll check after the election, but they claim it's peaking again. The old Europe shut down. Here we go. Blah, blah, blah. So Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, What's it's, it's out there. Got, that should What's be it? y'all's first merch. Untold experience mask. That's true. Yeah, we got Rick and Bubba mask. We already got them out there. I, I, I say we need some untold mask. The OTA. Yeah, why not? OT <laughs> look, looks like we're gonna be wearing them from now on. So might, might as well take advantage of it. Might as well wear the OTA untold mask. Guys, I I hate to tell you all this. I, I don't want to sound like Ryan who didn't record, but at any minute, of course, I hadn't turned red yet. I forgot my charger and I'm I'm looking. I'm I'm pretty low. <laughs> you think your laptop's gonna die? Yeah. You didn't it bring the- red yet, but it's it's like as little as it can be <laughs> and not red be red. <laughs> Could I, I didn't do it for Greg. I was so prepared today, wasn't I? <laughs> you were, you were. You got no and you had to get used to that. I, I'm the most unprepared person for anything like this. Mm. You well, know, I, I just like to much. wing it. I miss I it. Like I miss wing it. Run. I miss the damn record button, so I can't say anything. Yeah, you can. But I mean, I'm still in there right now. But if I suddenly disappear, it'll give me red for then. But it's, it's not red yet. All right. Here's what y'all don't know: is that um, every episode, I end with the countdown. Uh oh. Okay. So we need to get into the countdown. Ten questions. Let's go. They Hit can us. be quick. They can be long. Whatever y'all feel like. Let me ask you this. How many episodes have you done? What what episode? How long have you been doing this? Um, I think this is number 80, maybe. It's around wow. there. Wow. That's impressive. Late yeah, 70s. I'll never get y'all, Greg to 80. I'll never get Greg Y'all might be number 80, maybe. I'll, I'll have to look at that. Thanks for I having like us it. for 80. That's good. Absolutely. So I'm going to go 10 questions. Ryan, you go first. Okay. Uh, and then we'll switch it up. Number nine. It goes 10 down to one. So 10, you'll go first, Ryan. Nine, Greg, you'll go first. Got go. It. Are you okay. ready? Let's do it. Let's Ryan do it. Greenwood, yep. 10. Name something that's perfect 10 in your life. Perfect 10 in my life is. You don't want anybody to change it. You got it like you like it. My my grand my grandboy, my grandson. I got one grandson. The relationship's perfect. He's he's two. He, he comes up, we eat candy, we eat junk, he lays in my lap, we sleep, we take naps, we do all, all the fun stuff like that, and then I can send him back to mama. Greg, he's two. How many times has he seen him in two years? Yeah, see, me and him have this competition on Granddaddy. He's seen him in two years. He's seen him six times. That's, that's <laughs> a lie, Greg. That's a lie. And I, I go when mine was even in Atlanta, I would drive and see him every weekend. That, that's a lie. Lisa now they're back closer. And you were with Lisa. I will see him tomorrow. I see him at least twice a week. I'm just glad Lisa goes to see him. Mm, well, that helps. So. I'll admit that. <laughs> that helps. All right, Greg. What's the, what's ten in your life? What's something that's perfect ten? I you thought I was supposed to answer. 
I thought I was supposed to answer number nine. No, no, you you go first. Well, he stole that. mine. Um, oh, whatever. You, you whatever. go your wife. Go your wife. Your that's marriage? true. Because he will be. Hey, been together since we were fifteen years old. So what? I, Jesus, I think that's a pretty good track record. That was when your first date was fifteen. Hmm. Well, you have girlfriends and stuff, you know. Okay, so you're off and on. When did you go serious? Oh, well, yeah, we had a few breaks, but most, it's been pretty steady since 1981. Yeah, you needed some breaks. You needed. How get about that? Out of your system. I mean, yeah. that's that's pretty dang good. When did you marry? Eighty nine. Eighty nine. Been married thirty one or thirty two years. <laughs> Dated wow. about eight years before we got married. Poor Lisa. Poor Lisa. So God, I gotta say that, and I've got two wonderful children, and. A grandbaby and another one on the way. So I'm only married three years. What's the key? What's the success? You better ask Greg that one. Ask Greg mm. that one. Yeah, that well, rhymes one. out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm gonna tap out on that one. No, um, that's what I'm asking. What's the key? I, I you know, I don't know. You just uh, all the same corny things everybody tells you, but it's true. You just Sleep it can't. You got it's give and take. It's give and take. It can't be all take. You got to give a little. You know what I'm talking about? Listen, shut up and listen. Yeah, you got to give a little. Every now and then you're going to have to go do something you don't want to do, you know, and, and you pick your battles. I've That's told her it. that and she don't believe me. Just pick your battles. Every now and then you're going to do something you don't want to do. Exactly. Just give and take it. You can't always take. You got to give a little. That thing went over good. <laughs> or get a job. You work a lot of hours. You don't see each other that much. There that you go. There's where I'm waiting on. See, <laughs> now he knows. Ding, ding, ding. Y'all see each funny, other two hours a day. The funny thing was when I worked at the power company, I worked a lot. You know, they call you out during storms and all this. And when I first started working with Rick and Bubba, about two weeks into it, she looked at me. She said, you sure are here a lot. Because I'd get home a little after lunch. And then the weekends, I'd be there the whole time, which was never happened when I worked for Power Camp. I was always working. But she did. She goes, I got to get used to this. I ain't used to you being here this when You're messing up my day. So that's when you almost, that that, that's when you almost got separated then. No. <laughs> <Nothing like that. laughs> Listen, don't try to pull me in your world. <laughs> Well, I was like the pandemic. I, my wife, she had to start working from home. I never, I never quit going into the radio show. So I'd be home. At, I got home a little bit earlier because we just do it and go home. No yeah. salespeople, or nothing. So I'd come home about, you know, I'd be home at ten thirty, and she was, she had to work her full day at home, in Ooh. our office. And uh, I remember, but it was about two months in, she goes, "Hey, you know, you, you just." You can go do whatever you normally do. Like you ain't yeah. got to stay here on the just couch. Keep, just said, just keep your schedule. Just keep. Yeah. Keep your <laughs> I, I, I used to see this is you. every day. This was before the pandemic. This was me. Oh, I yeah. sit on the couch and play video games <laughs> and wait on you to come home. And as soon as I hear your car pull up, I start doing dishes back <laughs> like I've been doing chores. See, that's you the one that got messed up. Yeah, I got, we were doing I, the show from the house, and and like I say, I would be sitting right here in my my yeah uh, press, press conference, conference room. Yes. Thanks, coach. And so at 10 30, I'm standing in the kitchen. I'm like, and she's like, Why, what are you doing here? You know, so I mean, that went on about three months. So, but no, All that right, would definitely nine. be, that Greg, would be you at go, 10. You go first on this one. Nine. Nine is the German word for no. So name something you've written off in your life lately. No, something that's no more. You ain't, I ain't got time for that in 2020. It, it could be a New Year's resolution. It was like normal, like concerts and stuff. Those have been gone because of Corona. They were taken. Yeah, something that you something that you've written off like negative people, carbs, anything, something that's no more. <sighs> Interns. I can't well that. Yeah, we got rid of them. <laughs> uh what have I gotten rid of that I, I doggone it? Anything? Hard questions, by the way. Hard Go to Ryan, I'm thinking. Ryan, you got back. one? Soccer the all 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 the, the, the soccer trophy people. I can't I'm done with them people. What do you mean? The one, the, uh, the, the, the ones that just always got to have a trophy for everything. You know, the, every, you, everybody gets a trophy, you know, you play the tournament. trophies, you're out. This space trophy. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. I'm done. I'm officially done with it. I was done with it. I'm officially done with it now. I used I actually to speak a, out and say something. I used to own a trophy business. So I love that. Episode. I thought everyone. Knew <laughs> Is that you out? Know. You don't do the trophies anymore? No, that's out. That's out. You that's still got out. the machine was, now or did you get rid of the machine? I think so. Yeah. It was a family Did you make business, a trophy for best podcast and give it to me? I am. I'm gonna present and it to mail you. On it to me? I'm gonna mail it to you. If I it say y'all a... first guest, absolutely. Yes. All right. Eight. When you die, what do you want to be the last thing you ate? Now, I'll, let me make sure y'all got the grasp of it. You can okay. mix and match. You can go home cooking. You can go 
I like this appetizer over here. I like a burger from here. You can go dessert from this place. It can be a restaurant. It can be a mix and match. Whatever the deal, I want tip to tail. Ryan Greenwood, what's your last meal? You can have anything in the world. All okay, put it's, it's my last meal, so I can I can be as full as I want to. Yeah, that ain't gonna matter. I don't have to worry about heartburn. Okay, well, no, we nothing. App- appetizer. Uh, there used to be a place. It was in Birmingham. They, they still exist. Uh, Copeland's. They have okay. uh, Bayou Broccoli. Was an appetizer. Wait, that, of all things, you're going broccoli. Yes. Yes, but but no no no, it's deep fried with cheese and broccoli and like, oh, like a barbecue go. sauce. It, it's right. good, solid. That's solid. your app. That's that's, that's okay. bad. Uh, oh yeah, hang it's, on, Greg. Hit you hard, hit you hard. Uh, and then I'm gonna go <laughs> pizza. I'm gonna go. Uh, there's a I another place. Here's a weird thing. Quick quick story. I'll make it quick. The first time I had Chicago style pizza was in Birmingham. Tortugas, Tortugas. Okay. Deep did you eat pizza. that before we went to Chicago that time? I I did. I actually did. And when I went to Chicago and had deep dish pizza. I, I didn't like it as good as I like tortugas and tortugas. Okay. Like I'm serious, but it's, it's gotta be the all meat, full meat, deep dish, Chicago pizza. Yeah. That's my meal. yeah. It's, 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 yeah, that's, that's it. And, then, and all meat, all meat. Uh, <laughs> and then my dessert, uh, I gotta go, I gotta go with my, my grandmother Hicks, uh, egg custard pie. Uh, actually my grandmother Hicks or my mama Willingham, two, two elderly uh, ladies in my life that, Egg custard pie. Egg custard pie. Yes. That's me. what's wait, wait, wait. Go back. What's on the pizza? Did I miss that? All meat. He loves meat. Just remember? for Greg. All meat. Just every meat. Yes. Just he's a meat yeah. eater. No, no <laughs> veggies, no sides, nothing. No, 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 no. Not on a deep all dish right. Chicago yeah. style pizza. No, no, no on the all right, making sure. Yeah, yeah, you're good. And then that egg custard. I'm what done. are you drinking? Sweet tea. Sweet tea. I ain't got to worry about it. So sweet tea. That's it. The whole way through? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait there. Greg Burgess, what you got? I, this is easy. I just go to my mom's. The, Your mom's? Can, I, I love when she cooks. It's roast and gravy Ooh. and mashed potatoes. Come on. Squash casserole, turnip greens, black eyed peas, big old Watch thing out. of cornbread. Watch out. Watch and then out. she makes this cake. It's like a devil's food cake with this creamy white icing that you put in the refrigerator. <laughs> okay. Dude, this is a, and look, if I can add any food else I want, I, then all of a sudden I turn around, I burp and I, my stomach clears up and now there's her homemade lasagna and I'm eating it too. <laughs> Good grief. Yeah. Cause I those burp are burp and then there's lasagna. You know how you say, well, I can eat more. There's I mean, this cause this yeah, is my last, your last meal. meal. You yeah. don't care. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. What are I mean, you drinking they, with it? A sweet tea. Oh, yeah, sweet tea. Well, I mean, if anybody listens to the show, they know you drink a cold one. So, what, well, you got a beer. <laughs> you you talk about that was appetizer. Uh, I was doing away with something. I tell you what, I didn't do away with. Uh uh-uh. uh. And I never really partook in it much, but moonshine. Smoking. But moonshine. I had a buddy of mine who was, could get moonshine. <laughs> and and that, you don't need to drink that stuff because <laughs> cause it fools you. It's really smooth and it's got, oh, this is peach or this is apple. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, the next thing you know, you feel like you got wings on your back, and you're like, you know, it's just, it's just weird. So that, and I'm not making a joke. We'll never touch it again. Ugh. Not that I was big into it, but I'm just right. saying, it sneaks up on you. <laughs> okay. Just trying different flavors. It was that different co- flavor. that goes that first question. Was that was that it though? Just the uh, it sneaks it's up done. on you. That's what. Yes, yeah, you didn't like end up naked at the neighbor's bar. No, but you you could have that potential if you went too far with it. <laughs> Once you got those wings on your back, you knew it was not good. And this is illegal. This ain't let you buy in the store for that one, that brand. This is this you is someone about lightning. you have to pull up to these people's house and they bring it out. Yeah, they okay. You yeah. ain't talking about you bought it in Gatlinburg. It's on no, the no, no. It ain't no smokehouse. <laughs> <laughs> no. Number seven. When you were seven years old, what'd you want to be when you grew up? Y'all going <laughs> if you got to go, go, Greg. I'm going to laugh when I say this, and it made no sense. Actually, when I got older, I'd seen where I'd written it down. You know what I wanted my job to be? Raise dogs. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought that was a job. <laughs> I wanted to raise dogs. <laughs> I don't know. Well, like a breeder? Like hunting dogs and stuff. That was. I, I mean, that, that is a job. Well, yeah, but On not Craigslist. Really. Yeah, but yeah. this is like, yeah, this right. is in the seventies. I got hunting like, dogs. Come message me. You yeah, know what I mean. In the seventies, you'd had to put a poster board up. But I mean, <laughs> but I remember thinking, looking back, going, "Nice, you dumb man. What are you talking about? You just want to hunt hunting dogs." 
See, we had a bunch of beagles when I was a kid. We used to. You thought that'd be cool to be the guy that deals the beagles. I thought if I was raising beagles and selling them. (laughs) Y'all, if I I see Greg Burgess, if I see a a business card that says Greg Burgess Beagle Dealer. <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever seen. That's why you got a soft spot for those dogs and Mr. Buddy and all that. I know I like dogs. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. What's yours, Ryan? What'd you want to be? Uh I, mean, I was simple. It was I wanted to be a baseball player. I wanted yeah. to be a professional baseball player. That's, I'll that's tell you, you got, you got a good swing. I saw it at the softball games. You got a that's good about swing. as far as it got. That was as, that was as close to the big league as I got was uh was was slow pitch softball. Did you so play that, high that school? Was pretty big. Yeah, I played high school and college. College. And then, and I, I said I would never play slow pitch softball. Uh, and then once once you get older and buddies, like, hey, you got to play. And of course, I start playing. So yeah, it was fun. And now right. now I coach softball. So there you go. There you Full go. circle. Yeah. Uh, number number six. How do you want to end up six feet under? How do you want to die? Ooh. How do you want to go out? Ooh. And you sleep peacefully on a jet ski. I want I want a jet ski crash. I, I'm gonna say. Um, Right, I'm, I'm talking about instant impact where I don't feel anything, but I, you, there's impossible not to smile on a jet ski. I know what you I want to say, but it don't make. I want to say like that when the Dolphins win a Super Bowl. But I, I just want to. But just I want have a heart attack and go out. Yeah, with a my big goodness, smile right? on my face. So you're gonna live forever. Well, then and then my family goes, oh, he he died doing what he loved. He's watching the Dolphins. They just won, so there, there you go. Okay, well you'd have to be immortal. Because they they won't win again for a long time. <laughs> That's fine. But you All know, right. Cassell, I used to think I'm I just... wanted to go out in a blaze of glory like you described. Yeah. I used to think about that. Or, or with your boots on, you know, go out. Uh, <laughs> with your boots on? <laughs> you ain't never heard that? Die with your boots on? You ain't never heard that? No. Yeah, what man. you got? Yeah. Half I, I, but as, the older I get, though, I'm kind of backing off. I almost want a peaceful death. I want to. Eat that last meal I just described and then go, go to, to sleep and not wake up. I don't know. I used to want to like somehow, like when I worked for the power company, go out in a blaze of glory, but you know, which that's tragic because there's people that die. But I'm just saying you just, as the older yeah. you get, the kind of you go, ah, I'd kind of like to see everybody eat that meal I talked about. And I want to be really old and I won't be to that point where they're like, you're getting kind of gross. You're so old. So <laughs> I ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> you're getting kind of gross. Yeah. When you got, your, you got right, nose hair your, and ear hair, and you know it's time for you to go. When does your mom usually serve that meal? Holidays, Sundays, Sundays. You know, not well, as much. Not we good. used to go. It used you know to what be that means? Sunday. That's gonna be a Sunday, and your family's all around. And you're gonna have a heart attack in the chair. Now everybody's well, traumatized. Okay, maybe I said that wrong, but anyway. But well, I get what you're saying. You're saying have a good meal, just have a good day, go to bed, not wake up. Yeah, see everybody, all your kids, your grandkids, everybody come by to see you and you yo crusty then. And then this, you just walk up to the into the sunset. Yeah. You're getting to the point where you, you don't know what you're doing, so it's time to go. Are you like that old dog who just starts wandering off for no reason? That's you right. I don't want to buy around. Me. Back. That's right. Go all curl right. up in the woods. All right. Uh number five, five finger discount. Ryan Greenwood. What's the last thing he stole? Um uh... Oh my gosh! Uh, Shampoo from a hotel. Does that count? No, no. I, does, it, does does it count? Well, yeah, yeah. This is this is straight. I up. was I scared to steal when I was a kid. Water from the grocery store. Mm. Under like the, a twenty four pack. Yeah. Well, it, it happened. Put it underneath. I put it underneath. Here's the bad thing. I did it. Went to the car. Went down. Oh, so I go back in to pay for it. It it took an hour to explain what happened and get it paid for. Two weeks later, same thing. I'll go to the car. I'm going, oh, shoot. I forgot to do the water again. I said, heck with it. It took me an hour last time to get it cleared up. I'm like, I just, I'll. You know. Wait, so the first time you paid them? The first time I went back in and had tried to take my receipt and show them, hey, look, I didn't pay for this. I thought it would be simple. Look, I didn't pay for this water. Scan and they it. go, beep, beep, and you're out. They, they said, well, get all your bags. And they started looking through the bags. And I'm like, no, no, no. I just didn't pay for this water. And they said, well, we have to check the whole thing. It's, I'm not kidding. It took oh, that's minutes. a handle. So the next, it wasn't two weeks later, same thing. I go to the car and putting bags in. I go, oh man, water underneath. I'm like, nah, I'm just going, I just kind of, I did that little look around. I was like, I'm just taking the water. I'm like I ain't doing, I ain't going mm. for that. So. Greg Burgess. Well, I stole a car off a used car lot. <laughs> 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 no, um, golly. <laughs> My dad scared us so much. If we ever got caught stealing, he threatened our lives. So the baseball only thing- cards, candy. Yeah, well, candy. I, I did. I, I, yeah, I think I, I stole some. I stole some. Well, okay, I'm gonna tell this story. 
this is kind of stealing. Now, I was a teenager, so this is not as an adult. Okay. <laughs> this this, this me thing. acting like I'm this big beard. That's just a character on the show. Okay. Okay. But we were had some friends. A buddy of mine had younger brothers, and they were all gonna camp out. Okay. So they wanted us to go buy them some beer. And back then, my God, you know, if you you just walk uh, in a store and if you ask yeah. for it, they got it. So they anyway. So and we took it to them. And we so knew where they were camping. No, well, it was 19 when I was coming up. But anyway, oh, okay. we weren't that old then. We, we were late. But anyway, so we, <laughs> so we took it. Here's gave my phone. You, you had to be 19, Casio. Were yeah. you 19? No, but that's okay. <laughs> I, bet I got grandfathered. When they changed the law, I was already 19. I got grandfathered. Anyway, All right. so this is kind of bad. Well, I mean, you know what, though? It may have ended up being good. It's because life. We bought it, and they took it, and they put it out there where they were camping during the day, and they were going to go that night, and it would be there. Well, we doubled back around when it stole it from them. Even though we <laughs> it was, it was it. beer. It was but beer. Really, I, knew, I knew it was beer related. But now to think about it, though, we probably saved them from getting in trouble. You know, they got yeah. out there. Or the got, best night of their lives. That's fine. Well, they could have got in trouble. Somebody could have sure. overdid it. Could have so it was kind of really, we did steal it, but it was kind of like a public service. I mean, that's how you justify it. You broke the law by serving underage. He was a good, he was a good Samaritan. I yeah. felt kind of bad about it, but my buddy, and it was his brothers. He didn't care. The minute they went off, he goes, we're going back and getting that. I said, what? He said, <laughs> he said we're going to get it. I said, so you okay. got the money, got the beer, and then got the beer afterwards. Yeah. Now that was a long, I was a kid. But that's because he was a good Samaritan though. He was, but yeah. see, that's the only thing I haven't stole. I, I, like I said, I, I, my dad, he threatened us so much about stealing. Not even that, like I thought it was going to be Ryan accidental groceries. Now I used to steal like people's like plums <laughs> off people's trees and stuff. You know, <laughs> Boy, it's opening up now. I mean, my I dad, he was yeah. strict on it. I was Get those apples out of them trees. Well, that's different. I mean, I stole beer to kids. You I know, mean, I, mean, I, I, got beer well, I saved them. For, I saved them from themselves. Did you steal electricity from the power company? No, but I caught a lot of people doing it, and some of them were very, very good at it. <laughs> What's very the way good. to do it? What's a good way to do it? Well, if you can get one of the seals that now things are probably a little more high tech now than right. than were then. But it, like, if we cut it loose, if you know enough about it, you can twist it back together without blowing yourself up. But the best one I ever seen, the guy had, he got a seal. When they cut it off, they put a red seal on it. Well, he got a red, he stole a red seal from somewhere. And he had, he had made these pieces of copper that went around the meter and completely jumped it out. But the red seal was on it. So, so that way the meter is not registering. So if I come there and you've cut yourself on, I said, anyway, so I'd have to go back and check, make sure it's still off. Well, the red seal was on it. I pulled it, went to turn around, walk off, and the heat pump came on. And I went. <laughs> And sure enough, I cut it open and he, he came out. He said, you got me. I said, man, I said, that was a good one. <laughs> you got me. But what happens pump, if you got me? Then you just cut it they off? Fine. They had to pay a big fine and all that. Well, he didn't pay it. Yeah, they, they, before they turn it back on, they make you pay a big fine. Well, it I mean, may be different now. They may put you in jail now. I don't know. All right, number four. Uh, I ask all my people this. If anybody listens to Cassio's Cut podcast, uh, one of my weaknesses is Little Debbie's. And – uh, We've Ooh. talked about Little Debbie so much. The Little Debbies have sent me packages, gift boxes. And that's so a good my, thing. My number four question is. Greg, we got to talk about Little Debbies. Yeah. All right, my, hey, my battery's red. We got to pick it up. All right. We're on number four. Top four, Mount Rushmore of Little Debbies. No particular order. You just only got four Little Debbies from here to the end of the time. Who are you taking? Greg? You up a minute. Cosmic Brownies. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Yeah. yeah. Zebra Where Cakes. All right. Nutty, nutty buddy bar, nutter bar, yeah. whatever it is. Nutty yeah. bar. Um, uh, the, when they do the little uh, Christmas and they have the little Christmas trees. All right. See, some and, people uh, don't put the Christmas tree and zebra in because Christmas is basically same. a zebra cake in the shape it's of a got the little Okay, well, then maybe the uh, devil food squares with the cream in them. And then the, what's the swirly ones? The Swiss cake the rolls. cream rolls. Swiss, roll. Swiss, well, you, Swiss rolls. Well, that's five. Swiss All rolls. Right. <laughs> So you doing Christmas tree or zebra cake? I'm going with zebra cake. I like it even better. All right, so zebra cake, nutty buddy, cosmic brownie, and then what? Swiss devil cake square, or devil's food? Devil square and the swirly. No, that's five. You can Greg, okay, you're going okay, I'll go with the, the swirls, swirl, Swiss swirl. Swiss whatever. cake roll Swiss over roll. the devil's food. All right. Yeah. Ryan Green. Uh, number one's got to be. I, you probably don't hear this so much. The chocolate chip 
it's the white. It's, it has the devil food inside, but it's got the white out. Yeah. Icing. What's it called, though? Mm. I don't know. I know what oh. you're talking about. Cassie, I don't even know what it's called. And this is I your got you. The chocolate this chip squares. It, it, I think it's called chocolate chip squares. My That's bad when I there. go out here, y'all. I'm sorry. You're good. Uh, fudge rounds. Uh, okay. Cosmic brownies. I got to go cosmic brownies, too. Mm. And then, ooh, number four, mm, Swiss roll. Swiss roll. All chocolate. Amazing. Hard to beat. By the way, neither one of you went went oatmeal cream pie. No, no, I don't like them. No, don't no. like them. Really? I like them. I just don't like them. It's, that falls I don't like on them. my list. All right, that's fine. I'm not an oatmeal do. person. Well, All right, I'm number two. Uh, two, I need two concerts. Your first concert you ever went to and the last concert you went to for Pandemic. Ryan Greenwood. Oh, first concert was uh, – so Greg's going to kick me on this one. Sean now, Cassidy. Now, wait. All right, here's what I got to clarify. Did was you say Sean Cassidy? Took you to? Yeah. Was that your parents took you to or you paid I, for? I paid for, but my uncle took me and my cousin. But you paid for. That means yeah. it's your first concert. Yeah. Sean, Sean Cassidy. Sean Cassidy. What, were you in yeah. love with him or something? No, Wasn't he like no. a teen idol? No, no. It was was my, that before you could decide you what you – Did you bring him a Swiss cake roll or what did you do? <laughs> no, no. Is no, that before no, you made no. your choice on who you're attracted to? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> my cousin was a girl, and I was going with my cousin. I just liked live You were music. going with your cousin? <laughs> That's <laughs> some Alabama stuff right there. Uh, near it, ah, near it. No, we were All just right, What was your last one? Me. Hurry up. I'm going to run out. I want to tell mine. Uh, my last one <laughs> – Sadly, uh, is it was Van Halen. It's been that long since I've been to a concert. What year? 2015. Van it's Halen. been five years. Yep. Yep. All right. My well, first one. one that's a good. Well, that's a good one to go out on. My right. first one, and maybe. One. And I've listen. I've been to. I've seen everybody. I've been. I love live music. Yeah. My first one, and maybe my favorite one. It's in the top two. The Commodores back when they had Lionel Richie in it, okay. and they were owning it. Brick House. That's solid. And it was a great show. Do you and remember then, open for him? Yeah, Zap featuring Roger. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, Ryan, you would have loved this because, you know, loving guitar players like we did. Roger, the guy, you know, he had some hits, but he was in Zap too. He came from the back of the arena with a, a mirrored flying V guitar. Oh, and the lights were hitting sweet. it, and he is just wailing on it, on somebody's shoulder, and they took him to stage. Anyway, and then my last one was uh, I saw Ted Nugent at Iron City uh, a few years ago. Really? Wow. Okay. That's a good wow. jam right there. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Number one. Um, number one, if you're a wrestler, who would be your tag team partner? Does it have to be a wrestler? Well, I mean, I guess you could venture out, but it could be at any time. I know. No, that's the easy. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Really? Yes. All right. Now, is he Stone Cold or is he back with the Hollywood Blondes or what? what no, he's the, he's the real when he we used to come out there and dog everybody and, and shoot birds. Glass that, breaks and he's beer, yeah. beer, beer yeah. on the head. Yeah. Was that you at the power company? I feel like that was you. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. That, that, sure, <laughs> especially yeah. when we were working out of town. You talking about you talking about this guy right here? Yes, sir. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> but wait a minute if i could go old school when i was growing up it'd be this mr wrestling be it would He's be mr wrestling number two if i could go i'm sorry all right i'll go with dirty dick slater then go <laughs> <laughs> ryan you're going mr wrestling oh two all the way i loved him oh and the mass oh god he's he, he won the, the the belt from Harley Race. Oh, yes, bloody, listen, Georgia Championship in, in the Omni. Oh, Cassie, oh, you will love this. Georgia Championship Wrestling was what we grew up on. Sure. Georgia Gordon Soley. Well, they would come to the Oxford Civic Center and put on shows, and you'd come see on. Mr. Wrestling number two. You'd see Abdullah the Butcher, Tony Atlas, all of them. Stand the man, smoking, cig smoking cigarettes like Speedy. I mean, the whole thing. <laughs> and look, and then, you, and then you'd see them all get in the car and leave together. It was so awesome. Yes. Yes. Out of that group, the only guy I've met is Stan Hansen. Stan the man. And I'm going to tell you, he's a badass in real life, yeah. too, bud. Yeah, I, I can bet. see that. I hey, see you ever that. seen him in Japan wrestle? He come out with that bull whip. Oh, no. Hey, I he'd love just Stan tear people up. He'd hit the people in the crowd. He, he ain't playing around. Of course, I also love Dusty Rhodes. Don't, I mean, the late, come great on. Dusty Rhodes. Loved oh. him. The dream, baby, natural. The natural. You know, the, the most baby. unathletic looking person. But yeah. Well, well he what gave about, all of us hope. What about Gold Dust? <laughs> Did you, did you like gold dust? No, I didn't like that weirdness. <laughs> I didn't like that weirdness. 
Yes. Here's another one I met at the Civic Center, Tojo Yamamoto. Y'all remember him? <laughs> Tojo Yamamoto. Oh, God. And Tommy, Greg, hey, hey Tommy Wildfire. Ridge. And Tommy Wildfire Rich. I met him. Hey, I'm going to tell you this. I got Tommy's number right now. Me and him are boys. That's a you lie. Gotta be kidding. I'm not joking. You and that N- wrestling connection is amazing. NWA Let me tell you, Tommy Wildfire Rich, buddy. First of all, you better get ready. Yeah, I bet. Hey, Tommy is ready to jam. So. He loves him some Cassiope. Is he still wrestling? I mean, hey, I, no, he's not still wrestling. He lives in Georgia. Hey, I, I last time I saw him, I said, "Hey, Tommy, look, man, well, me and you've had a good time hanging out a couple times. It's probably two or three times in." I say, "Dude, I want you to be on my podcast. Will you be on my podcast?" And he he stopped for a second and he put his hand on my shoulder. And he said, "Buddy, let me tell you something, Cassie. I don't even know what a podcast is, but if you'll come over to my house and sit on my back porch." We'll have us a podcast. Oh, I bet it was good. <laughs> Come on. Yes. So that's in the future. I got to get pandemic kit. You don't want to make that. That wild will be time. awesome. You got to do that. You got to oh, do that. Oh, he's the man. Hey, still got them bangs. You know them yeah. bangs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. White oh. hair. <laughs> hey, cotton white. I mean, If he walked white. in right now, you'd go, well, that's Dagum Tommy Wildfire Ridge right there. A, a buddy of mine threw popcorn at Ole Anderson, and Ole Anderson body slammed him. It- <laughs> <laughs> what? Slammed him right there on the, on the Pacific the Center floor. Yes. Took him down. A lot of people say I look like Ole's brother. I could be an Anderson. You could be. Especially right. when I had my thinning hair before I shaved. I was a lot, I was a lot like Ole. All right. That's Uh-oh. it, man. You got one and one. He got Mr. Wrestler. You got Stone Cold. Okay. You made All it before right. your clock two, right now. You're two, good. two. All right. My thing came on now. It says you're Mac. Hey, guys, I'll be more prepared at some point. I don't know. All right. I- Bullshit. Tell everybody where they can find the show. It's out today. I'm it's on out the today. show. Yes, Cassio right. is the first. You're the first guest, buddy. Where can of they course. find it? You can find it at there on all on Stitcher, on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify. It's off the air. The Untold Rick and Bubba Experience. It's you got a there. website. We do have a website, but I'm gonna, if you if you want to contact us, reach out Twitter, Instagram. It's Untold R and b spell out the word and website told the letter r spell out and b b right on instagram and twitter uh shoot us an email webmaster at untold r and b spell out the word and dot com and then the website's also uh untold r and b spell out the word and dot com simple as you're that. gonna have people you got me you talk about christopher columbus you're gonna have all the characters from the, the past oh, interns until greg uh, gets kicked off sure yeah Brad ryan which might be now saying. It's very close. Very close. Oh, wait. And Brad Ryan's got some great stories. Oh, yes. oh yeah. Brad Ryan, yes. if people don't know, wrote the Rick and Bob. Rick and Bob in the house. Yes. We got to get and me. You, Don Juan's got to get on there. You know, everybody. Brad, all the interns. I, a lot of people don't know this, but Rick and I have been friends with the Ryans since we were little bitty boys. Our, really? our parents were friends, and we knew each other when we were like five, six years old. So we got a lot yeah. of stories. It's we weird got, that y'all aren't friends now. Can't wait to hear that story. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Crazy, <laughs> Rawson. <laughs> name it. Mark Bass, we got them all. You talking the about hammer? Dawson? <laughs> the Maybe. hammer. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Oh, now you stepping Harrison, out on we Gotta have Steve. Harrison. All right, look at this. If you are from the past of Rick and Bubba, and you're listening to this or seeing this, get in touch with me. Get in yeah. touch with Ryan or Greg. They'll yes. have you on. Yes, webmaster. If you got a good story, bring it on. Webmaster at Untold R and B spell. You're gonna start com. once a month, but y'all know the pressure is gonna be on you to do more than that, right? Oh, don't don't say that in front of Greg. You're gonna scare him out of the greenfield. There he goes, right there. It's gonna be at least look. He's look at that look on his face. Look no, he's done. He died oh. with the ultimate face. Me and Speedy. <laughs> oh, me and Speedy will rotate. <laughs> me and Speedy will rotate. <laughs> Please make a face. I hope it gets hung up. I hope it gets hung up when you make a face. Hey. <laughs> Oh, all right. I all right I'm out. I'm about to, I'm, my battery go. Follow us on at Thank Cassio's you. cut. Thank you, Cassio, for having for we being on. We better stop before we get embarrassed. Yes. <laughs>